solve one problem on shape factor or view factor or configuration factor or surface factor for sphere inside sphere and cylindrical cavity we will read the given question a sphere of radius 5 cm is concentric with another sphere find the radius of outer sphere so that shape factor of outer sphere with respect to inner sphere is 0.6 Let us understand the given data with the help of diagram. It is given that the sphere of radius 5 cm is concentric with another sphere. We will consider the sphere of radius R1 that is equal to 5 cm is concentric that means these two spheres are having same center. That is it is concentric with the sphere of radius R2. Now the shape factor of this outer sphere with respect to inner sphere is given. Now we will give here the number. So we will give here the outside surface of this sphere of radius R1 that is surface number 1. And this inside surface of this sphere of radius R2 we will give here the surface number 2. now shape factor of this outside sphere that is surface 2 with respect to inside sphere that is surface 1 is given so i will mention this that f of 2 to 1 which is equal to 0.6 and we have to find out radius r now let us understand what is this shape factor so shape factor is also known as surface factor configuration factor and view factor now this shape factor means the fraction of radiation leaving the surface that reaches to the another surface now we will apply this theorem to this diagram we will consider here this surface one radiates energy and this fraction of radiation will reaches to the surface two so i will show this so here is the it radiates energy and fraction of radiation reaches to the surface 2 then if we observe this diagram the surface 1 and the surface 2 forms an enclosure so we will apply here enclosure theorem it is also known as the law of conservation of principle so what is that principle so if we observe so these two surfaces forms an enclosure so we can say that shape factor of 1 with respect to 1 that is f one, f of 1 1 so what is its meaning how we can define this f 1 1 that is this surface 1 radiates energy on its own surface plus f of 1 2 2 that is the fraction of radiation from surface 1 reaches to the another surface that is surface 2 that is f of 1 to 2 so addition of these two that is equal to 1 so why this because this one surface 1 and 2 forms an enclosure there is no any open space so this forms an enclosure so f of 1 to 1 plus f of 1 to 2 that is equal to 1 this is by the law of enclosure theorem or law of conservation of principle now if we observe the shape of the surface 1 then it is of convex shape so again there is the different rule for the convex shape because convex shape if there is the convex shape then this sur convex surface will never radiate energy on its own surface that is for this shape f of 1 to 1 that is equal to 0 so fr from this equation we can say that f of 1 to 2 that is equal to 1 now we will apply the another theorem that is the reciprocity theorem so what is this reciprocity theorem so we can apply this theorem for these two surfaces that is the area of this first surface that is a1 multiplied by shape factor of 1 to 2 that is f of 1 to 2 is equal to area of this second surface that is a2 multiplied by the shape factor of this 
surface to two one. That is surface to with respect to one. That is f of two to one. So this is the law of reciprocity theorem. Now we know that what is the value of f of one to two. So f of one to two that is equal to one. So we can say that f of two to one is equal to f of two to one is equal to you transpose a two to this side. That is a one by a two. f of 1 to 2 so what is the surface area so surface area of this sphere we can say that 4 pi r1 square in the same way for a to 4 pi r2 square so this 4 pi 4 pi is getting cancelled f of 1 to 2 is equal to 1 and we will put the value f of 2 to 1 that is 0.6 so here r1 that is equal to 5 so 0.6 is equal to 5 square by r2 square Therefore, R2 is equal to 6.45 centimeter. Now, why here you need centimeter? Because phi is in centimeter. So, if we put here phi, then we will get get the answer in centimeter. We will read the question. Find the shape factor for cylindrical cavity with respect to itself, for which diameter is d and depth capital H. we have to find out the shape factor of cylindrical cavity with respect to itself we will understand the cylindrical cavity with the help of diagram for the diameter capital d and depth h is given so this is the front view so we can see this cross section where this is the diameter d and this is the depth h now we will develop one imaginary surface and we will enclose the cylindrical cavity so this is the imaginary surface we will consider this cylindrical cavity that is the surface of this cylindrical cavity that is surface 1 and this imaginary surface we will consider here the surface 2 now we will apply the reciprocity theorem in between surface 1 and surface 2 so what is this that is the area of surface 1 that is a1 multiplied by the shape factor of 1 with respect to 2 that is f of 1 to 2 is equal to area of this surface 2 that is a2 multiplied by shape factor of surface 2 with respect to 1 that is f of 2 to 1 now we will simplify this that is f of 1 to 2 is equal to a2 by a1 f of 2 to 1 so this is just we can rearrange this equation now we will consider this surface 2 radiates energy so when surface 2 radiates energy we will apply the enclosure theorem why because the surface 1 and surface 2 forms an enclosure so according to this theorem that is the enclosure theorem we know that the surface 2 radiates energy on its surface on its own surface plus surface 2 radiates energy on surface 1 which is equal to we have to give which is equal to 1 so how we can write this in terms of shape factor that is f of 2 to 2 plus f of 2 to 1 that is equal to 1 now if we observe the surface 2 that is surface 2 is the plane surface and we know that for the plane surface it will never radiates energy on its own surface that is f of 2 to 2 that is equal to 0 so we can say that f of 2 to 1 that is equal to 1 so we can show this that is here is the surface 2 radiates energy that is in this direction now we will consider next that is the surface 1 radiates energy so when the surface 1 radiates energy i will show here then the fraction of radiation reaches to the another surface and the surface one radiates energy on its own surface also so when the surface one radiates energy on its own surface we will write here f of 1 to 1 plus when surface one radiates energy on surface 2 then we will write f of 1 to 2 which is equal to 1 so this is also the enclosure theorem so we can rewrite this as f of 1 to 1 which is equal to 1 minus f of 1 to 2 so what is the question we have to write the shape factor 
of cylindrical cavity that is shape factor of the surface 1 with respect to itself that means we have to find out f of 1 to 1 now 1 minus f of 1 to 2 so what is the value of f of 1 to 2 so here from this reciprocity theorem a2 by a1 f of 2 to 1 so we have to put this value now f of 2 to 1 means what so f of 2 to 1 that is equal to 1 so here it will become f of 1 to 1 that is equal to 1 minus a2 by a1. So what is area a2? So area a2 that is we have to write here the area for this circular plane surface. Because we have considered here this imaginary surface as the cover on the cylindrical cavity. So for this cover its shape will be circular. So what is the surface area? Surface area is pi by 4 d square. And what is the surface area for the cylindrical cavity? So surface area for the cylindrical cavity for that is surface area for this whole circular shape plus surface area for the base circle. So we can say that pi dh for this whole round surface plus for this base circle pi by 4 d square. So we can simply uh, rewrite this that is 1 minus d by 4h plus d. So if I take 4h plus d to this side that is 4h plus d minus d divided by 4h plus d. So plus d and minus d is getting cancelled. So f of 1 to 1 is equal to 4h divided by 4h plus d.